It's one minute past seven, and welcome along to tonight's edition of the Ross Patzelt Evening Show. Hello, I trust you all well this evening. Welcome along to the show then. Here we go once again on a very, very cold Monday evening here in Norwich. I hope you've all warmed up this evening for the show, as we've got a fantastic show coming up for you this evening. We'll be taking your voicemails, of course. We'll also be taking your lovely emails. We do like getting your emails, by the way. You can email us right now if you want, and I'll read them out for you. The email address for the show is ross. That's R-O-S-S, not Ros, Ross. <laughs> R-O-S-S at thegeekcast.co.uk. That's ross at thegeekcast.co.uk. Dot co dot uk. Just have a quick bit of tea that my lovely producer has just made me. Mm. Ooh, warms the old cockles up. Ooh, warms the old cockles up. Ooh, how beautiful that is. <coughs> yes, yeah, so you can uh, email me this evening if you so wish. The email address, uh, Ross, R O W S, P A T Z E T. Uh, at the geekcast.co.uk we'll also be having uh, some fun and games this evening as well to keep you all entertained and warm on this very very cold Monday evening we'll do our crossword clues round about 20 past 7 this evening so if you're a bit of a bit of a crossword geek like me and you fancy helping me complete this God, crossword that I just cannot finish this evening. It's really, really grating on me. Uh, I'll be very uh, pleased to hear from you on the phones. You can uh, call us this evening if you so wish. The phone number is 0787 263 8445. I'll just uh, say that in just a moment again in case you're getting a bit of pen and paper. Come on, get that pen, get that paper at the ready. We all need to be ready for the Ross Patzel evening show. The number once again, if you'd like to call this evening, is 0787 263 8445. 0787 263 8445. If you so wish, you can get us on the Skype. Yes, we have a lovely Skype machine. It's all set up and ready to go if you prefer to Skype in this evening. Our lovely username for the show is Ross Patzelt. That's all one word, Ross Patzelt. Uh, we'll also be keeping you up to date with the uh, local news and travel every 15 minutes here on the Geekcast as well. And this evening I thought we'd, um, I thought we'd play a little game this evening. And if you want to join in, you're more than welcome, of course. The more the merrier, as my mum used to tell me. And tonight we're looking for places of interest that begin with the letter N. Okay, so anything in the world, a place of interest that begins with the letter N. I'll give you the first one, just so we get on the way this evening. My place of interest is Nelson's Nelson's Column. So can you come up with a few more places of interest? Nelson's Column is the first one. And of course, we'll have our Limerick of the Week that's been sent in by Tom Harris all the way over there in sunny, sunny Chicago. If only I was in the sun, I would do anything to go just for one or two days in the sun. All that and loads more besides right here on the Ross Patzel Evening Show. But now... We're going to have some music and a brand new song from David Spack. This is called Amazing Grace.
expect you to... David Spack there, and Amazing Grace, here on the evening show. It's uh, Ross Patzelt here with you all the way through to them dark, dark hours of 8 p.m. I trust you well this evening. Hope you're enjoying the show. Okay, we had a uh, couple of emails in uh, from the last show, so I thought I'd read them out for you. You can, of course, email the show, ross at thegeekcast.co.uk. Ross at thegeekcast.co.uk. .co.uk. This one in then from Jimmy Smith, who's emailed the show. Hello to you, Jimmy. Good evening. I trust you had a good evening and a good Christmas. Did you get anything nice? And Jimmy says, Found you after not listening for a while, has lost your details. What happened? I don't know, Jimmy. What happened? Did you lose them? Silly Billy, you should keep them safe somewhere. Jimmy goes on to say, I'm really disappointed. Oh, it's like you've given up. I'll give you another listen, but maybe that will be the last time. Your old shows were very funny a year or so ago. Why did you change? What's with the offensive language? It's like you don't put any effort into your broadcasts anymore. What happened to your to change your show? Judging from the amount of listeners you have, as you keep mentioning, there's only one person listening. Not many people like what you have changed here. You just go on about the old days, the good old days. Exactly how old are you? This is really bad. Please improve what you are doing. So, a lovely email uh, sent in there from Jimmy, and I hope you're enjoying the show this evening, Jimmy. Feel free to call up if you want. Um, I think you'll find, Jimmy, that there uh, is no offensive language on this. <laughs> if anything, l- l- none. <laughs> As uh, the evening show with me, Ross Patzel, we do like to just sit back and just take it nice and easy. So, I don't know what you've been listening to, young Jimmy. Um, he's saying something about that I, uh, I use offensive language. I, I think you've got the wrong show, Jimmy. Here on the, uh, the Ross Patzel Radio evening show, we, uh, we play nothing but lovely slow tunes and just while away the hours with some lovely quizzes and tales of woe. But if you feel like calling in tonight, Jimmy, please do. You know the uh, the phone number in the email. It will be absolutely fantastic to hear from you. Uh, another email just uh, popped up here. Literally just popped up right in front of me at the moment. Made me jump it popped up that quick. It's one from Sheila. From Banger. Lovely Banger. I remember when I went to Banger. Ooh, 15, 20 years ago now. Oh, doesn't time fly? I went there with my uh, my lovely mother. God bless her. She's not dead. She's just uh, a bit older. And um, well, I remember we stayed in a, uh, a Haven Caravan Park back then in Bangor. Oh, God, this must have been... We're, we're talking about the 70s. About 1974, I think it was. Feels just like yesterday. And we had this, um, this clapped-out old uh, caravan... And I remember that we uh, we had our d- dog Benji with us, and we got in big big trouble from the uh, the caravan owner because Benji the dog decided for some bizarre reason it would be a good idea to chew up the brand new rug in the caravan, and we had to pay one hundred and fifty pounds to get it replaced. And I was not very happy with Benji, and we ended up getting rid of him after that because he was a bloody idiot. Uh, I do apologise about that. Sorry. I do apologise about that. We'll go on to um, another email that has been sent in by Richard, the trucker. Hello, Richard. I haven't heard from you for ages. Good evening, Richard. He's uh, up there in his his Ivoco truck. Uh, He's listening to us on the A11 at the moment, and he wants to report that there's ice in between junctions 2 and seven on the A11. He's saying it's very icy 
and everyone should take a little bit of care. And he's saying that there's some people who haven't got their lights on as well. So come on, everybody. Get them lights on. Don't be stupid. Ah, what else have we got here? Oh, we've got another one just popped up here from Gloria. Good evening, Gloria. I remember meeting you at the last uh, radio do that we did. Yes, I remember you, Gloria. You were the one who'd had too many Baileys, wasn't you? And you was trying to rip down my... It's lovely to hear from you, Gloria. I hope you're well. She says, hello, Ross. I hope you had a lovely Christmas. What did you get up to Have you has, as you haven't talked about Christmas? Well, Gloria, I was going to get to that, darling. You, one thing at a time. God, there's no rushes there. I'll tell you all about my Christmas in just a moment. Through the evening with Ross Patzelt. This is the Ross Patzelt Geekcast. And another new song that we've had delivered to the studio this morning is from a lovely band. They're from Chicago. The same place as uh, Tom, who likes to listen to the show, who will be bringing you his limerick sometime between now and 20 past seven. One of his favourite bands. Thank you very much, Tom, for pointing us in the direction of this lovely band. I've not heard this track. I'm hoping that they're going to be very good. Um, and he says, I just let me, left me a little note just to say, Ross, you have to check out this band. They are so good. I like to listen every evening while I'm just chilling in front of the city. So thank you very much, Tom. And this is the track that Tom has sent us. And it's by a band called Dusk's Embrace. <laughs> Society, room with the place fit Waiting for the metaphors with the rest You take the dirty flow We walk along the vehicle of despair Tell the illusories as they fall Playing with the pattern Still left on in your mind Always in this taking us a lonely Friends out to country with night You say it's been the case to win the death We're truly dead of verses We're inspired by a new fight Never go present the answer's never obvious When you are not Fresh in the fire and the sea Must away Stop to me now The body's for witness We're tortured to the witches The proud, the difference Find yourself sick With the blood of the spine But still I stand watching The insolence missing my mind World of Wait, 
was a lovely song there thank you very much for that tom uh that was one that tom our fellow americana good evening tom our fellow americana in uh, chicago the beautiful chicago in illinois um um i'll just have to apologize for that uh, listeners i do apologize for that um tom did uh, reassure me that that was actually an opera song um so I think, um, yes, I I do have to apologise on behalf of my producer. Uh, He loaded that one into the system. uh, So I will be having very stern words of him after the show. You're such an idiot. Through the evening with Ross Patzelt. This is the Ross Patzelt Geekcast. 21 minutes past the lovely hour of 7 o'clock on a Monday evening. Just going to have a little bit more tea. Oh, lovely tea. Oh, it's gone a bit cold. Don't like cold tea. See okay. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, feel free to call up the show this evening. It's uh, lovely to get some of you lovely people involved. Uh, so, we had an email then from Jean, who was uh, saying to me a little bit earlier, about four minutes ago, Come on, Ross. Tell us all about your Christmas. Okay then, Jean. Wow, I had a lovely Christmas. I uh, woke up round about six uh, thirty a.m. to the, uh, the the crying of Emily the baby, and um, changed a nappy, and we went downstairs to be um, unindated with lots and lots of presents that Father Christmas had emptied his sack all over our living room. Sorry, that was a little bit offensive. I do apologise about that. That was, um, I do apologise. Um, and we had lots of lovely presents. Now, I have to say, I have never seen so many baby presents in one pile than uh, Emily the baby had. She must have had about 15 or 20 toys and my uncle Kevin, who listens to the show, good hello to you, Kevin. Hello, he's the Kevin the postman, who sometimes rings up. He um he actually brought uh, my daughter Emily uh, two of the same toys. Now what the heck dickens is that about? He brought two toys the same. So I had to say to him, Kevin, you're an idiot. Sorry, that was a bit offensive. Um, Kevin, you uh, you actually made us. Um, you actually brought us two toys. So, any chance I could have the receipt so I can get something else? And that was um, rather nice, and I uh, opened up some of my presents. And I was very lucky this year. I had two bottles of Jack Daniels, which is my favourite tipple that I like to have every afternoon and every evening, um, which was very nice. Uh, what else did I get? I got... Um, oh, yes, I got... Uh, 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 um, 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 I got a tube, oh, I got a tube of Smarties from my Uncle Beatrice, which was quite nice as well. And I also got uh, nothing from Donna. So, yes. So what did you get for Christmas? Let, do let me know. You know the details. Um, we, had, we had a lovely Christmas dinner. We went round to uh, Donna's mum's. And, um... I was absolutely stuffing my face full of Doritos before the dinner, which is very bad, because if you do that, you end up not wanting any turkey because you've eaten too many Doritos. And I stuffed way too many Doritos and got told off. 
and we had a lovely afternoon. The wine was flowing, the conversation was flowing, Emily's nappies were flowing, everything was... <laughs> no. <laughs> I do apologise about that. Sorry, I've drunk too much tea again. Sorry about that. Jimmy Smith went like that. Um, uh, and we had a lovely evening. We played... Um, oh, brilliant. Have you ever played a game on the... You know the, the computer consoles, what all the children have nowadays? Um, a brilliant game on there. On the Wii. The Wii. You know, we got a Wii. On the Wii. And we played a game called Just Dance 2. Now, I felt such a dickens. Because I was playing this Just Dance 2. And the idea of the game, right, is you have to just dance... To the music, and we, me and me and me and um, me and Donna, we were absolutely bopping around all the uh, all over the dance floor and the living room of my um, my mother-in-law, and we were dancing away. And Emily was looking at us like we were absolutely stupid. So that's what I'd done on Christmas Day. So what did you do Christmas Day? On with our a uh, quiz that we got going this evening. You can join in with this if you so wish. We're asking for. Places of interest that begin with the letter N. Places of interest that begin with the letter N. I got things kicked off this evening. I suggested Nelson's Column. Everyone knows Nelson's Column. They're in London, where Nelson sits on his column. We've all been there, haven't we? We've all had a splash in the uh, the fountain, haven't we? And Jean has uh, telephoned the studio this evening. Hello, Jean. Hope you're okay. And she sent us a telephone call suggesting Niagara Falls. Yes. Who could forget Niagara Falls and Superman? Da, 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 da. We love Superman, don't we? How many films was there with Superman in? Was that two or three? I think they're on every Sunday afternoon, aren't they? On BBC ITV1, the Superman films. They're always on. No point in buying the DVD, because you can just tape it. Uh, so thank you very much to Jean, who suggested Niagara Falls for our places of interest beginning with N. So you get a gold star gene. Well done. Uh, another phone call we just had uh, during the uh, last song was John the Binman. Hello, John. We haven't heard from you for ages. How are you this evening, John? Lovely to hear from you, young man. Lovely to hear from you. I remember meeting you at the Long Stratton Fish Race. Oh, what was that? About, oh, must have been a good ten years ago, John. Lovely to hear from you, John. And John is saying Norwich Castle. Ah, who could forget? Good old Norwich Castle and the Battle of Hastings. 1066. 1066. Well done, John. John the Binman, who's also uh, sent us a little text message here, which just popped up on my screen, to say that it's minus 15. Oh, John. Do wrap up warm, John. Minus 15. He uh, he just sent me a message to say that he's now about to get in his uh, van. He's got a flask of coffee and a lovely pack of McVitie's chocolate digesters. Oh, John, you are in for a treat today. McVitie's chocolate digestives. Ooh, he's got all the stuff, hasn't he, John? Well done, John. Any more suggestions? For the places of interest, beginning with the letter N. You can email them to Ross, that's R-O-S-S, Ross at thegeekcast.co.uk, Ross at thegeekcast.co.uk, or you can call us this evening on the following phone number. Uh, Get your pen and papers ready, ladies and gentlemen. The number 0787 263... 8445 or you can Skype us if you've got one of them lovely Skype machines and the username to get through to the studio 
is Ross Patzelt. That's all one word. Ross Patzelt. R O S S P T Z E L T. Another message just popped up on my screen. Lots of popping up going on this evening. More popping up than hedgehogs in a field. <laughs> it's Bob. Hello, Bob. How are you today, Bob? It's Bob. I don't know. From where is she now? Where is she from? Where is she from? Where is she from? Where is she from? Let me think. Where is Bob? I don't know from. Oh, is she from Newcastle? Or Tyneside? I can't remember. Bob, where are you from again? Got my memory. I'm telling you. I'm only 50, 30. And my memory is like a, like a, no, it's gone. Bob, I don't know, is saying, why did you just sing the Black Beauty music? For Superman. Did I? Did I really, Bob? I don't know. What am I like? On with the tunes, and then we'll be back with Tom Harris's Limerick of the Week. Checked into this place I'm down on the ground Looking around me out With some small state of grace Over the edges of the grim Look at the light, it's so dim A couple of hours now End up flat on my face My face Won't you set me up with some pretty bitch and then it yeah. is your vision The point of all this Hey, I don't want to wait it out Just run my feet around How you gonna set me up So, pretty picture frame To conceive of this human condition, my friend We wear and tear, swear we'll never ever bear it Then we're up on our feet again So true is common And then what bonds us is making sense of the game So won't you set me up in some pretty picture frame Oh, 
Holly Long and Pretty Picture Frame. On FM, AM and online, this is... It's 7.35 and welcome back. This is the Ross Pat Salt Evening Show with you all the way through till 8pm. Tonight's weather, scattering of showers, cloudy dull but still remaining cold with some mist patches in the east. 3 degrees, that's 37 Fahrenheit and up in the cold, cold north. There'll be some rain which will be drying later to create some widespread showers. So the uh, advice from the Ross Patzelt Geek Cast, Ross Patzelt Radio Show, <laughs> is wrap up warm tonight. Wrap up warm, as it's going to be a cold night. A maximum t- temperature of 15 degrees this evening, up there in the north. And we go to the phones. Good evening on the phones. Hello. Uh, hi there, Ross. Happy New Year. Happy Christmas. Hello. Happy New Year to you two. Who's this? This is Ian in Ottawa, Canada. Hello, hello Ian. How are you this evening? Very good, very good. Am I, am I catching you during your show? Yes, we're live at the moment, going all over the world. All over the world, eh? All over the world. We're rocking all over the world. Ha <laughs> ha! Just like So what did I miss? Quite. What did I miss? Did you, did you announce the prizes that I've won for phoning in or what? Prizes? What prize? Oh, I thought, I thought I'd get some prize for phoning into your show. Ah! Only if you can come up. Uh, with an answer to tonight's quiz. Oh, what's tonight's quiz? Have you not been listening in? No, I haven't been able to get your show live today oh. so far. Why is that then? Why is that then, Ian? Why can't you? I listen? don't know. I guess on the iPad, it's uh, it's not coming up. You've got. An I have iPad. to get on the big computer to do that. You've got an iPad. Yeah, I'm talking to you on the iPad now. R- oh my! What well, this is. You're talking to me on an iPad? Exactly. What? Blimey, I can remember the days of the ZX Spectrum. We couldn't speak to each other on a ZX Spectrum, could we? No, I don't think so, no. No. But this is working well now. So what question have you... Don't ask me any question about England, because I don't even know any of the... uh, TV shows or movies or anything, anything out of England. Give me an easy question. Well, Ian, we are doing a little quiz tonight, which is... Um, are you right there? Yeah, I think I've got something, a little frog in my throat, but it's, it's coming out. You can uh, take the legs off them and make a frog stew. <laughs> right. <laughs> make sure that doesn't jump away. <laughs> Exactly. We're uh, this evening on the uh, the Ross Patzel evening show. We are doing uh, place names uh, of it, places of interest that begin with the letter N. Okay. So okay. I I kicked off uh, the evening by saying Nelson's column. Okay. What about Nigeria? Ooh, we haven't had Nigeria. We've had Jean from uh, Bungie, who has suggested Niagara Falls, and we had John the Binman in Long... Are you right? Oh, yeah, I'm still here, yeah. Yep. And John the Binman in Long Stratton is saying Norwich Castle. So what was your guess? Nigeria. Nigeria! Yes! We'll add that one to the list, which means that you get one of Ross's gold stars. Okay, what is that? Now, how many gold stars do I need to get a uh, a platinum star? You need five gold stars, which then uh, means that we can exchange them five gold stars for a platinum one. So you got your first one, Ian. Okay, good, good. Congratulations. Can you think of any other place names that begin with the letter N? Uh, let's see, uh, Norwich. Norwich! Ah, Norwich. We didn't think of Norwich. Yes, it does. Well done. You've got where two. Where is that? Isn't that where you live? Yes, this is where we, we're coming from. The uh, yeah. The so studio. That should be something that should be fairly obvious to you then. I didn't think of it. I did not think of it. <laughs> what am I like? 
Oh, damn. Uh, any, any more? Any what more? about Norway? Norway! Norway! Home of Father Christmas. Right, well, it could be, yeah, okay. Okay, that means you got three gold stars. Any more? Can you think of anything else? Places of interest. Um, what about North Dakota? North Dakota. Now, that one's not on the list. Oh, you have that. You have a list that I have to try oh, to figure out? Oh, yes. Uh, we've got a list here. We've got lists for everything. Not on North, the list. North Pole. The North Pole? North yeah, Santa's. yes. That one's on the list. Yes. You are very clever. Okay. North Pole, which means if you get one more right out of my list I've got in front of me, you can win yourself a, a Platinum Star, and you also win yourself a Ross Patzelt mug. So, okay, let's see. Uh, well, you're not Googling there, are you, Ian? No, no, I, no I'm just trying to think now of another... No, I'm not being uh, funny, but we don't like cheaters. Yeah. Um, I was thinking North Troy, New York, but you probably don't have that on your list. I'm just looking down my list now. No, that one's not on the list, which means that you're frozen. Uh, you're frozen uh, now. You cannot guess anymore. If not, I'll okay. get in big trouble. Okay, so I froze myself out of stars? You're frozen. Oh, no. So, did you have a nice Christmas, Ian? Excellent there. We had a uh, lovely top sirloin. We had all the uh, sweet potatoes, the Ooh. green beans, the uh, King George the First, King George the First uh, plum pudding. Ooh. Full of my, full of coins. Mm. So you had to be very careful when you were eating or it you get a quarter stuck in your teeth, you know? I be- rarely well, yet, I think you do that in England, don't you? You cook coins into the into the plum pud. No. You don't do that. No. Boy, I don't know what uh, this was. A King George the first. Well, you put pudding that I got. You you put a plum in the oven and then put loads of money in it. Yeah, you put uh, you make the uh, plum pudding. It actually, I don't know if it has any plums in it, but it's got lots of uh, raisins and nuts and. All good stuff. It's like a uh, fruit cake. Oh, I know. Of, you mean a money. Christmas pudding? Christmas pudding, yeah. Christmas pudding with a hard sauce. I can't stand Christmas pudding. I hate it. My mother. I remember my mother. She used to make a Christmas pudding every year, and I would never eat it. And she wouldn't let oh, me no. watch telly. She was awful. She's a wicked witch. Did she have hard sauce there? That nice sugar and and brandy and and. Orange zest and all that stuff. She, That's beautiful stuff. I remember that. I, I remember on Christmas Day morning, my mother would always be. She's not dead. My mother would always be making her own plum puddings, and I would always put my plums inside the pudding uh, late in the morning as well. They get burnt, so uh, I don't suggest that. Oh, okay. Well, but you didn't get any money in the cake. No, ooh, we, we couldn't afford money. We couldn't afford money. Not not where we lived, dear. Eh? No. We we actually had a one time one year we had a dime like in a dime is a very small uh, coin in in our money. Mm-hmm. It's very thin coin. It's like your pence or something. My and pal, it went down my the garb- went down the garburetor and jammed the garburetor. It uh, took us hours to get that dime out of there. Oh. What kind of thing? what what did you get for your presents? What presents did you get in? Uh I got uh lots of wine uh mm-hmm. Must have be uh, uh, some good wine there from Australia and Chile and so. So just Africa a moment, so so we've got a travel report just coming in. Just a moment, sorry, Ian. The okay. A11 between Yarmouth and Galston is closed at Church Lane because of a burst road main. We uh, will have some more news on that in just a moment. That's the A11 between Great Yarmouth and Galston here in Norfolk is closed at Church Lane because of a burst road main. Thank you very much to okay. Rod the Binman for that update. Sorry, where were we in? That must that must affect hundreds of your listeners. Yes, it does. We grow all across the eastern, eastern counties and all over the world. So, yeah, you never right. know. Yeah. So where were we? Uh, let me see. We were talking about plum pudding or something or what? Your plums. Plum, your plums. Yeah. And then roast I... beef, like a nice roast uh, beef wellington. Have you ever had a beef wellington? Ooh, my lips are salivating at the fort. I have not had beef wellington for about five years. But my mother, she used to be... <laughs> Hello? 
My mo- sorry. My mother would be in the kitchen every Christmas Day morning making her wet beef wellingtons. Oh, they were lovely. They were just all mm, sublime. Yeah. I will well, actually. We had that. We had that instead of a turkey this year. My wife made a, a beautiful beef Wellington, mm. and uh, along with the plum pudding and all that stuff, it's uh, lo- and it comes out. It's all uh, soaked in brandy, and you light it on fire when it's coming into the dining room. Oh yes, oh yes, I remember them days very well. You get a good Napoleonic brandy and put it on there and uh, soak it up, you know, like it makes a good fire and it makes a good taste too. Yeah. Well, I got uh, two bottles of Jack Daniels. I like to have one uh, one or two glasses in the afternoon just to uh, to wind down. And I have another couple of glasses before bed as well. Uh, probably my favorite tipple. Do you like a bit of Jack Daniels? Mm, Jack Daniels. Is that bourbon? Yeah, it's bourbon, yeah. No, I don't think I've had bourbon there for that much. It's not a big drink over in Canada. We get uh, whiskey over here or uh, gin or rum. I like uh, a good glass of Jamaican rum. Oh, do you like uh, Captain Morgan's spice? Do you got that over there? No, I don't like Captain Morgan's. That's a cheap rum there. You get the Appleton's 12-year-old rum there from Jamaica. That's a good one. Cheeky bug. That's what I drink. If you, you go blind drinking that Captain Morgan stuff. So I apologize for my language there. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. I slipped out. I do apologize. Mm-hmm. You'll you... go blind drinking that stuff, Ross. Well, that... That's like bathtub gin. Well, that keeps the cockles warm. Now... Is that what they're called now? Is that what they're called now? Yeah. I don't... You, you wasn't listening to the show earlier. I had an email in. Let me... um. Let me read the email that I had in from a, a lovely listener. <coughs> a lovely listener. And let me know your views um, okay. at the end of the email. So this was sent in... Um, oh, I forgot what his name was now. What was his name? Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy Smith has sent this email in uh, to us this evening, and the email reads, Found you after not listening for a while, has lost your details. What happened? I'm really disappointed. It's like you've given up. I'll give you another listen, but maybe that will be the last time. Your old show's... Uh, sorry, your old shows were very funny a year or so ago. Why did you change? What's with the offensive language? It's like that you don't put any effort into your broadcasts anymore. What happened to change your show? Judging from the amount of listeners you have, as you keep mentioning, there's only one person listening. That uh, Not many people like what you have changed here. You go on about the good old days. Exactly how old are you? This is very bad. Please improve what you are doing, Jimmy Smith. So what do you think of that, Ian? Well, I I wouldn't even respond to somebody that wrote something like that about me. Really? It seems to me that he's a very ignorant person that's trying to trash you. Really? Is he jealous? I think maybe he's jealous that you've got a good good uh, talking voice on the UK station there, you know? I think he's jealous that I'm, I'm a, a fully... A top-notch presenter on the English channel there. Yeah, top-notch presenter, a fantastic dad, a very, very good-looking 30-year-old, and brilliant in bed. Right. Oh, sorry, I apologise for that last remark. I didn't mean to add that bit. <laughs> I apolo- Sorry, are you all well, right? I can't, ver- I can't verify the last remark. Maybe uh, you could put Donna on and we could question her about your virility. Hello. Hello, Hello. Donna. Hello. How is Ross in bed? Hello. Yeah, that's th- that's nice. Hello. You should put a couple more sound bites of her on that are something of a different thing, like, he is fantastic in bed. How is that? Hello. Hello, Donna. How are you? How's Emily? Hello. Tell me about your daughter. You're a wanker. Hello. Hello, Donna. Hello. Okay, Ross, take off the sound bite here. Hello. Hi, Ian. Hi Sorry there. about that. We got taken over. Um, so, um, 
We've got one of Tom Harris's limericks here. Would you like to hear one of Tom Harris's limericks? Sure, sure. Go ahead. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is is he a... on the show too? No, he's gone. He's got called to a meeting. Oh no! What does he? What does he do? I thought he was retired. No, nah, he's uh, he's at work, isn't he? He's at, he's at work at the moment. He's got a call. To, he's got called into a meeting. Oh no! Okay. Sounds important. Sounds important. Is he an important guy in his in his company? Nah. Or is he a janitor? He's got called in down. Uh, somebody spilled something in the cafeteria. I think he's the tea boy. So this is Tom Harris's limerick of the week. Okay. Hi, Stone. Can, can you just can be I quiet? Can you, hello, caller. Uh, hello there. Yes. Can you, could you just be quiet for a moment? I'm just doing Tom Harris's limerick of the week. All right then. Tom Harris's limerick of the week. How stern are the woes of the desolate mourner, as he bends in still grief o'er the hallowed bier. As a gwinglished, he turns from the laugh of the scorner, and drops to perfectionist remembrance a tear. When floods of despair down his pale cheeks are streaming, when no blissful hope on his... Puddy, yeah. just be quiet for a second. I'm doing the limerick. You, you've already said that. Can you just... When no blissful hope on his bosom is beaming. Or, if lulled for a while, soon he starts from his dreaming. And finds torn the soft ties to affection so dear. Ah, when shall day dawn on the night of the grave, or summer succeed till the winter of death? Rest a hail, hapless victim, and heaven will save the spirit that have faded away with the breath. Eternity points in its amorous boa. That's a happy one, eh? Where no oh, clouds of fate. A lot of bullets. Oh, uh, <laughs> is that something you made up, Ross, or and you're attributing that to Tom Harris, or what? When woe fades away, like the wist of the heath. That was The Woeful Woes by Tom Harris, copyright 2010. And we now have two callers on the line. Good evening, line one, and good evening, line two. I think we've got Atticus with us. We good, have. Good evening, Atticus. How are you this good evening? evening. How, how are I? Um, uh, I've been better. What's up, dear boy? What's up? What have you been doing? What's up? Late. No, I, I'll, 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 I'll save it to a later date, I think. Well, what's, what, what's on your mind, Atticus? Tell the, tell the world. Oh, no, no, it's okay. You, you can tell me what, what has happened on the show so far. So far, we have come up with uh, uh, points of interest that begin with the letter N... Um, we are also doing my crossword for this evening as well. I'm having dreadful... Oh, here's something, uh, Ross. I should tell you. Do you know what? I've been getting in trouble for swearing with uh, Chris Reardon. There'll be none of that on here, thank you. No uh, swearing, no. Tell us about the um, the swearing incident, then, Atticus. Well, last week, I, I played a character. Yep. I, I introduced a character. and he, um, he wasn't swearing. He was sort of half swearing. Mm. So the in parts of the swear words would come in later on. I I, I, I didn't listen to Reardon's show, but he said he said that um uh about ten you know four or five times about said I, 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 in case you didn't know I'm listening and I should really change it and then. And I'm a little worried about it. I, 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 the, the, you know, the people who listen to that station, mm. I've had considerably lower downloads, a, a considerably lower download ratio. Yeah. And I, I think that I, I think 
I don't really think I want these people listening to me. Is there? A, a, do you understand what I mean? Hmm. Very sticky situation. Yes, I, I, think, I think I can tell you something about that, Atticus. There, there's been some problems with iTunes in the oh. last week. So the I downloads, see. like even to get the Geek Podcast today or the uh, any kind of a down, there's been problems with iTunes. The thing is, um, you, 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 it's a hit. It, it, it counts the hits. So there haven't been the people who who listen via. Um, UKR's website so they've, they've been considerably less usually within like six or so days I would have about hundreds right. uh, uh, hits but I haven't I haven't this time I don't think any of your shows went up on it on UKR did you make a show on Sunday um, I didn't know no but the, 13 but the down one, 13 down 70s band uh, who sang Mr. Second, I did. 70s band who sang Mr. Blue Sky and Telephone Line. Three letters. One, That's easy, isn't one, it? One, one. What's that one? ELO. ELO! They're, they're, uh-huh. they're excellent. It I fits. Have it, you know? it fits. I've got my crossword here. So ELO on 13 down. Can you guess this one, Atticus? Or Ian? For a gold star. CERN, oh no, I don't know how you work. Um, Aston something, West Midlands Football Club with five letters. I can't get it. Aston Martin? Aston Martin. Ma- I'm Aston As- Martin. Aston and Stanley. Aston Martin. Villa, Villa, Villa. Aston, yeah, Villa. that's Aston Martin. Well done, Ian. That one's solved. Oh, I've got one more left that I can't figure out. My something is Earl. U.S. sitcom shown on C4, and it's got four letters in the word. Any ideas? My something is Earl, a U.S. sitcom. My name is... My name is what? My name is Earl. Your name is... Ah, oh, it fits! Well done! <laughs> That's this week's crossword completed. Anytime you have a crossword there, just put a show on and put us on and we'll solve your uh, all your problems there for you. Uh, a trick travel report coming in from David on the A47 who's saying that the road between Bridge Road and Church Street is partially blocked because a cow is stuck in the railing, so do stay away from there. <laughs> is that David James? No, it's David Jones. Oh, bloody hell. No, sorry, I, I do apologise for the caller's language there. I'm, um, I've got no delay system on this programme. I do apologise for that. Also, hello oh, sorry, to Jean, I, I, who's I, I, listening at I the apologize. moment. <laughs> I apologise. I apologise. I, I thought, didn't know it was going through. That's OK, no problem. We've, we've apologised. Uh, on the text, hello to uh, Brian, who's just sent... Brian the Milkman, who's just sent us a text message saying that he's getting us loud and clear. And can I please play some... Um, some what he, he's asking for? Some Madonna. Unfortunately, we haven't got any Madonna to play for this evening, but I'll try and get some on the show tomorrow for you, young man. Sorry, where were we? Uh, um... <clears throat> We've got a cow stuck in the road. That's where we were. cow stuck in the road. Well, anyway, thank you very much for calling up this evening. It's been lovely talking to you. I hope you have a very um, merry New Year. What are you two up to New Year's Eve? Me, hopefully um, going down the pub. Down the local. Oh, yeah? What are you, is that a karaoke or are you watching a, a, a group? I, 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 I think it'll be just uh, boo- boozing, actually. But oh. I, I've, I may... I may... Um, I may move on elsewhere. I don't know. Hopefully. Ian, hopefully. what are you up to this evening? Or well, I don't know. I haven't made a plan yet, but I'm sure it'll be uh, very exciting. Might invite. It might be uh, so exciting that I have my pillow in mind or something. I don't know yet. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, a very merry Christmas to you two. Thank you very much for your call, and a very merry New Year to you and all your loved ones. Okay, so I'll send you some pictures, Ross, after this podcast, okay? Of... Sorry, I do apologise about the caller there. 
That's it for this evening's show. Still to come, Chris Reardon's on next with United Kingdom Radio. Talk, I mean. After a lovely Christmas song. And we'll see you same time, same place, next week. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart From now on our troubles will be out I am not doing this show no more. I'm fed up with this show. I am absolutely fed up of all these stupid people. I've got no one listening. It's just, just I'm, I want to speak to you. That's a beautiful song you're playing, Ross. Now on, our troubles will be far away. I want to speak to Ross. Where is he? I'm fed up with this. Every single week. Here we are. I've got no producers. As in olden I've got no help on the show whatsoever. All days it expect me to do is do these stupid quizzes. Faithful friends. Absolute waste of time. It really is a waste of time. Near to us. I quit. Once more. I quit. Just forget it. I quit. Through the I quit. Years we all will I quit. Together, if the fates allow. And a shining star on the highest bow. And have yourself a merry little Christmas night.